And do not misunderstand me here. My point is not to play games through, with, through cor corals and so on and so on. I think that if we are to go to the end in what the ethical experience of, 20, what, of what 20th century means within the horizon of our ethical experience, we should go through this zero level, where it experiences the gap between the absolute dimension, Kierkegaard called this theological and ethical at its purest, where we experience how, as Kierkegaard put it, ethical itself is a temptation to be, to be resistant. Now let me conclude just with two final points. The first one, I think, is that the radical conclusion to be drawn from all this is that, precisely apropos of Antigone, is that one should renounce the very striving for one's own spiritual salvation. Here I agree with Levinas, who himself quotes a very nice passage from Leon Braunschweig, the old French philosopher of the early 20th century, who claims that, quote from uh, Braunschweig, the preoccupation with our salvation is a remnant of self-love, a trace of natural egocentrism from which we must be torn by the religious life. But I claim that we have to make here a step further, I claim that what we find at the end of this road is atheism, not the ridiculously pathetic spectacle of heroic defiance of God, but the insight into the irrelevance of the divine. I would like to finish with a quote from Brecht's Geschichte Stories of Herr Koiner, this Kafkaesque figure in Brecht, where one concerns precisely the question of atheism. Here is Brecht's short five lines passage. Someone asked Herr Koiner, Mr. Koiner, if there is a God. Herr Koiner said, I advise you to think about how your behavior would change with regard to the answer to this question. If it would not change, then we can drop the question. If it would change, then I can help you at least insofar as I can tell you. You already decided. You need a God. <laughs> so the true atheism is, again, to make question itself meaningless. And I think Brecht is right here. Again, we are never in a position to directly choose between theism and atheism, since the choice as such is located within the field of belief. Atheism, in the, sen in the sense of heroically deciding not to believe in God, is a miserable, pathetic stance of those who long for God but cannot find Him, or who rebel against God, and so on and so on. A true atheist does not choose atheism. For him, the question itself is irrelevant.